guys, Lexi here, and today we're going to be doing makeup. I got this makeup kit from Walmart, the Halloween section. It's called Beautiful Bones Makeup Kit. I have not opened it yet. We're going to open it together, look at it, see what's all inside of it, and see how it works, and see if it works, because I'm kind of skeptical about some of these, so I wanted to do some and see if they work and kind of add my own twist onto it. I don't want to do it exactly like this. I want to make my, kind of like my own interpretation. I had to think of word for a second, sorry. <laughs> my own interpretation of it. I have some eyelashes that I bought. I have some sticky, I don't know what these are, sticky beads, whatever, sequins. Some little eyeshadow palettes. I got, whoop, sorry, got my Jeffree Star lipstick. I got these palettes I got last year for Halloween. I didn't, I've never used these. I just opened them literally. I bought them last year and was like, oh, I'm gonna use them for a cool Halloween thing and I haven't used them. So I'm gonna try to incorporate them into this look, but if not, then I'm gonna try to use them later. I also have some of the little crown stuff that you can also get in the Halloween section. I have different colors. These are just kind of matte. These have some yes. glitter in them, and these are fluorescent. So I don't know which one I'm going to use, but I have a variety. And then we also have. Sorry. It's going to be very loud. <laughs> we have our mini of eyeshadow palettes, so I can pick from a billion colors. I have lipstick running away. <laughs> we can pick one second. My wifey ran away. How dare it. <laughs> anyway, we're going to try to incorporate all this into this beautiful bones makeup kit and see if we get something really cool or if we just get something that just looks really bad. So either way, I'm going to post it. So just let me know in the comments below if it looks cool or if it looks bad. So be honest with me so I can get better. <laughs> So first things first, let's open this up and see what's inside. We're going to open this, see what it looks like, get all the stuff, and then I'm going to have to charge my freaking camera battery and then do the makeup because my camera battery has already decided to die and I just put it in the camera. My luck. Anyway, let's open this before my camera dies and try to get everything out. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to drop everything on the floor. <laughs> okay, so we got some black cream paint. We'll see how that works. I'm my biggest like skepticism on all these is the cream paint. Cause with these kind of paints, it's either gonna look like it'll look nice and or it's just gonna look like I just smeared crap on my face and it's gonna look really bad or you can see through everything and it's just so that's why I said this is going to go one or two ways. It's going to look really cool or it's going to look really bad. Just let me know. So we got ooh, a little paintbrush. As you can see, my camera does not like to focus, so I made no promises at all. Paintbrush. A pencil, which will help out a lot for drawing. And I was very curious about these tattoos, so let's look at these tattoos. Not as many as I thought there was going to be, but we got some flowers, and butterflies, and a vine. And then we got a bunch of tiny butterflies, flowers, and some tiny vines. So, I will figure out something, because like I said, I'm going to create my own interpretation of this. So, while I'm looking at this, I'm trying to think of a way to like put it all together. And... I'm not sure because I want to add this to this headband. I have not used this headband for anything. Again, it's nothing I bought for Halloween last year. I have a problem with buying things and then saying I'm going to use it for cosplay stuff and then it just sits in my cosplay box and I'm like, mm. So I want to try to use this headband. Yes. And we also have whatever this is. Let me look. I'm not sure. Oh, these are the stencils. Yeah, okay, so there's stencils in here. And this, I may or may not use these. I'm better at freehanding than using stencils, so I don't know. 
I want to use the kit, so we'll use the stencils. I just don't know how it will work. <laughs> we'll try the stencils. We'll try the stencils. But I want to try to get not just like this part and this like here. I want to try to get a little farther down and get like my arms and stuff. That is the goal. If I will get that far, we shall see at the end of this video. But that is the goal is to get all of this like skeleton five, I guess. Beautiful bones five. Mm. Either way it works. <laughs> so we got stencils, our cream paints. I also have some like circle palette cream paints that I also got last year that I never opened. I told you I have a problem. Anyway, <laughs> I have some of those. I might add those because I have black and white and I might need to use them or add them with this because I don't know if that will be enough. And then we also got our tattoos. I set them somewhere. I lost them already. I have our tattoos somewhere. I'm going to figure out how to incorporate them through like this section. I'd like the tattoos through this section because this is going to be the main focus. I just want the arms and stuff because I'll take some pictures and like make some TikTok music leads, whatever they are called now. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, so let's get started on that. First things first, I gotta charge this camera battery, drink my monster, and then we will start with the paint. So I'll get back with you. Okay, so my neck's a little red now, but I'm going to do it just freehanding. I'm gonna use just like this is a guide, I guess but I don't want to use this sizing reference. I'm going to use my own sizing reference and my own idea that's in my head. And I'll just use this, the tattoos that are with it. Stencils are a good idea, but not for me. So let's get started on the freehandingness. So it doesn't matter if I'm there. Okay guys, so here's the completed look that I created. My cats are eating, so if you hear some noms in the background, that would be my cats. Anyway, here's the look I created with that beautiful bone set and whatever else I had laying around. Now that cream paint, I will tell you, gets so dry. Look at that, so dry. Now I didn't get all the way, of course, like, don't have time for that and probably if I wanted it to be more pigmented I would do it more but I don't know it just seemed like the more I was doing it was like wiping off as you can see up here it was just like wiping off in places so I just kind of did the best I could it looked good on a black and white film so it didn't do good for these colors but it made the arms and stuff look a lot better on black and white <laughs> 
But I hope you guys enjoy this look. I just kind of made it up as I was going, so I mean everyone's going to have their own opinion on it, I know, but I just made this up as I was going, like I said. I have the sequins, my little black sequins, about half of those tattoos and that beautiful bone set, like literally half of them did not work. As soon as I put it on my skin, it just like deformed and mushed up and then either half of it got stuck to the paper and half of it got stuck to my face and just something went wrong with about half of those. The only ones that worked was like the big vine, uh, the big flower and butterfly, this rose, half of this butterfly and this vine and that's it. Everything else just was not working out. So half the tattoos work. The paint gets very dry, so that's just up to you. And you can use the stencils and it wouldn't be as excessive as mine is. But this is just, like I said, I wanted to create my own thing. So this is kind of just what came out of my artistic, creative mind. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, I have like a few more sets that I'm going to try out. If you'd like to see any more that maybe you saw and you want someone to try it out, just comment below and I'll see about getting it and trying it out. I'm sorry, I'm picking up the dry paint. <laughs> but if you want to see me try any more of the Halloween makeup from Walmart, just let me know and put it in the comments below. I have like two other like sets like that. I have a unicorn one and I have a deer one that I'm going to try out. I just want to try out the beautiful bones first and just do my own interpretation. I knew I wasn't going to do exactly what was on the package, but I still like the way it turned out. I mean, I'm not 100% on like my face right here, but I still think it turned out good. Eh, here and there, but <laughs> I'm still happy with it, but it goes back and forth. I'm so itchy from this dry paint. I'm going to need to take an immediate shower. And I will quit rambling. As I said before, if you would like to see any more of like these weird things I do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for any more cosplay, hair related, or any other weird things I do. As always, my name is Alexia, and I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to check out any of my playlists. I have a whole playlist of Halloween makeup that I've done before. I will leave that somewhere on these end credits so you can look at them if you'd like to look at any other Halloween makeup that I've done, and you have any other suggestions for Halloween makeup, please leave that below. I would like to try out some FX stuff and whatnot. I have not tried that out. And also, I'm allergic to a lot of stuff, so I kind of have to be careful. So if you have any like suggestions on like FX makeup that's good for people who have sensitive skin and whatnot, let me know, because I need some. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to give it a like. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!